Today, let us revise the addition concept and its properties with Miss Mary. Good morning, students. Let us revise the concept of addition first. What do we mean by addition? Addition is the process whereby we put objects together. Let us see how. There are 25 long books and 32 small books on the table. How many books are there in all? Let us add 25 and 32 to find the total number of books. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Thus, the sum of 25 and 32 is 57. There are 57 books in all on the table. Do you know the terms used for the numbers in an addition? Yes, the numbers that we add are called addends. And the total we get after adding the numbers is called sum. In the example just solved, 25 and 32 are addends and 57 is the sum. Remember, the words in all, all together, total, sum imply addition. Now, let us revise the addition properties. There are two addition properties. They are 1. Zero property of addition. 2. Order property of addition. Zero property of addition. Let us take the numbers 4 and 0. If we add 4 to 0, we get the sum 4. And even if we add 0 to 4, we get the sum 4. This tells us that when 0 is added to any number or any number is added to 0, the sum is the number itself. Order property of addition. Let us take the numbers 14 and 32. When we add 14 and 32, we get the sum 46. Now, let us change the order of addends. Let us add 32 and 14. Again, we get the sum 46. Hence, 14 plus 32 is equal to 32 plus 14. Thus, we know that changing the order of the addends does not change the sum. This order property of addition is also called the commutative property of addition. Hope you enjoyed revising the addition concept and properties with Miss Mary.